and welcome to the incredible life of cat today i have a lot of wax empties here for you guys so before anything else i just wanted to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel if you're watching my content and you're enjoying it we really do appreciate it i am going to start with some non sensey items that i have here i finished a coconut sorry i ran into the table coconut cream pie three wick handle this I burned about halfway and then the rest of it I had on a warmer or used in my Scentsy warmers. It was okay, but it just, it wasn't as good as it was last year. It wasn't as strong. I don't know if maybe it was a me thing, but just, or because I burned it beforehand. But it wasn't the way it used to be. It is still one of my favorite fragrances. It just wasn't as, the throw wasn't as heavy as it once was. So I'm hoping the other one that I have that I haven't burned yet will have a better throw. But overall, it was good. And let's see, are the notes on here? The notes are toasted coke. oh, here we go with my shaky hands. Toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, and golden pie crust. So it's still good. It just wasn't the same. The next non scentsy wax items that I had... There was Hello Gorgeous, and this one was okay, but it just, it was nice. I had it in the living room. It didn't have a very far throw, but it was good. Would I repurchase? Maybe. This is Tuscany Candle, limited edition, and I was finding these at um, Winco here in Nevada. I don't know if they have them at Winco in California or not. It was actually pretty good. A uh, pretty decent throw. I only used one cube at a time. It was basic when it comes to what the fragrance actually was, which is pumpkin, sugar, and spice, but a nice starter for the fall. It had the right essence going on. It just wasn't like anything outstanding to me. Might repurchase someday. Don't know. Next one was banana pumpkin. Again, this was a good one, and it had a really nice throw, but it wasn't anything special. I didn't pick up on any banana for this one. It was more like a pumpkin bread. And they don't have the notes in here besides banana pumpkin bread. I mean, it was nice, but would I repurchase? No, I didn't find it necessary. I'd rather get the Tuscany Candle one, actually. I don't know why my hand's being all shaky. Maybe I had way too much coffee today. The next one is strawberries and cream. This one is exactly like it says, strawberries and cream. It's okay, but it's I think it's at a season for me now. I've had a lot of different strawberries this year, so maybe repurchase. We'll see what happens next year. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. And then I have a couple of sample, a sample and a little six pack that I got some wax on. This was from, if I could keep my hands straight, this was from that Smell Good Shop, Amazing Grace. So this was an accident. I didn't mean to order this one. I did order it, but I didn't mean to. So I used it in the bathrooms and it was nice, but it was really, really light. I think it could have used more cure time. This one was amazing. I did this here in the office and this is salted pretzel milkshake with vanilla ice cream, salty pretzel bits, and chocolate drizzle. Absolutely delicious. I actually need to keep that because I want to repurchase it at some point. So let me grab that. Just set that aside. One's from vendors. I'm keeping the little baggies or something for. The last one that is non Scentsy Wax was a Goose Creek Peanut Butter Christmas Candle. Originally I had a set of candle and I burned it a little bit and then stopped burning it and chopped it up and put it in my Scentsy Warmers. It was absolutely delicious, so would recommend this. 10 out of 10, I probably will buy again at some point. Not at the moment, but at some point. And then I went through, I've been noticing cotton balls aren't soaking up as much as they used to, and I don't know why, but I went through three uh, 70 count of jumbo cotton balls from Winco. It might just be the brand but I've been noticing that with my Walmart ones too, which is a little odd. And we have a Black Forest Pine scent circle. This is by my kitchen in the um, trash can and it's making, it smells really nice actually every time you use the trash can. 
and damn my hand just won't stay still we have a scarlet sunflower this is a good fragrance i love it i don't have the notes off the top of my head but it did the scent circle only lasted like two days in the car and then we have a johnny appleseed pods and this one is good as usual i don't have the notes off the top of my head which i might have on something else actually hold on now i'm dropping stuff again the notes for Johnny Appleseed are Macintosh apples and a hint of crisp pear. Really delicious. One of my favorite fragrances, favorite apple fragrances actually. But from, from Scentsy, I had that in the haul wall fan diffuser and it went for like a week and a half or so. I think it was really nice. And then now we are going to get into my alphabet challenge. Stuff, oh, well, no, okay, I thought that was nonsensy. For my alphabet challenge, these are not in order. I have been posting shorts on these. We went through a Johnny Appleseed, which, like I said, is one of my favorite fragrances from Scentsy. And we also went through Havana Cabana. And this one, I tried to like it more than I actually did. The notes are pineapples, oranges, bananas, and berries. It's just, it, it isn't jumping for me. Maybe it's because it's the end of summer. Okay. My other hand is less shaky. It's nice, but I probably would not repurchase right now. It's not available anyway. I'll wait until next summer. I know sometimes my sister gets this, so I might grab one and keep it on hand. So if I don't gravitate towards it, she can use it. And then we have Midnight Mahogany. Really love this scent. This is a new one for Scentsy for the fall winter season. I'm going to change up how I'm doing my notes, too. I thought I'd let you guys know. The notes on this are black plum, cinnamon leaf, and dark mahogany. Um, with my notes, I'm going to start putting them in a just in a spreadsheet. This is really nice. A little bit masculine, but I like the plum. Um, it's delicious. Did I read it to you? Yeah, black plum, cinnamon leaf, and dark mahogany. It shows you how, much, how many thoughts I retain a day, huh? But... Really love this one. I would recommend if you like masculine or woodsy fragrances. And this was kind of ugly, but I needed to get rid of these anyway. So for eye, I used Iridescent Pearl. I don't have the notes off the top of my head, but it's a fresh, clean, almost aquatic scent, I believe. It was okay, but not something I'd go out of my way for. Would I repurchase it? Maybe if it comes up again, I might get a bar or two of it. And then we have Lemon Coconut Chiffon. I wish I had put this in my Scentsy Club. Absolutely delicious. Really love this one. The notes are lemon custard, butter cake, and toasted coconut. It's just, it's delicious. Absolutely delicious. 10 out of 10, I would recommend this. If you like um, lemon, oh my God, now I can't even think of the name of it. The lemon one, lemon pound cake. Oh my God. Lemon pound cake from Bath and Body Works. That with a teeniest bit of coconut in it, you would like this one. And then we have Poor Unfortunate Souls. And the Villains Collection is returning on the 18th of this month. They are coming out with a um, poison apple warmer. I am tempted to get it, but I'm not going to. I have a lot of Halloween and fall warmers already. And I bought the last ones that were coming out. This one, it was okay. It, it was strong, finally like towards the end of the bar, but um, the notes are wild blackberry, scarlet, raspberry, goji, and vanilla silk. I don't know, something about the, the dark, the wild blackberry just didn't set with me. So I'm probably, I have one more bar of this, but I'm probably not gonna repurchase. Just because, you know, I, I'm not going to die if I don't have this. I'm going to have Sita try it and see if she likes it. But she didn't seem very interested in it. Surprisingly enough, she said Ursula was funny looking on there, which made it worse. <laughs> um, last one is one of my favorites. is Daydream Oasis. And they have this in, actually in some of the cleaning products. So I'm tempted to buy them. But sometimes the cleaning products, depending, like if it's too much and you use it too often, it kind of ruins the wax bar for you. It ruins that scent, makes you tired of it. Notes are sweet melon, pear leaf, and water lily. And I feel like it's a really well-balanced bar. And it is in my Scentsy Club. 
Right now I have most of the spring ones in my quarterly club, so I get it like maybe three or four times a year if I don't skip it. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see when November gets here. Next ones, some of them are for my project Use It Up and some of them are just ones that I used. This is Sun Ripened Berry and this is a bar from 2022. I do have more of this. It's a scoop of sorbet and sun ripened berries. This is a really delicious berry scent. Um, I wore this yesterday actually. And the other one that I had going was Ruby Nectarine. And since I have sort of an open concept between the kitchen living room area, I had both of these going at the same time and it was absolutely delicious. I walked in and it was just like amazingly fruity because I went grocery shopping and then came back. The notes are Juicy Nectarine, Ruby Apple, and Pear Blossom. This one got pretty melty there and it is from 2022, but also I this is one of the ones where a consultant that was moving out of town dropped them at my house real quick. And because they had already started melting in his car and he knew he was just gonna have a bunch of melted wax in his trunk by the time he got to Las Vegas. So I uh, was happy to help him out with that. Really like this fragrance and I do have it in my quarterly club. And then Coastal Strawberry. I'm riding the struggle bus with this. I had just finished some or used it and said I wasn't sure about how I felt about it because there was just too much green going on for me. Now I'm starting to like it, so I don't know what to do. Um, the notes are earthy strawberry vines, raspberry seeds, and jasmine. So now I'm starting to like it, so I do have a few more, which I'm happy for. Just, I can't make up my mind with that bar. I think that's one that I let set in my club and not make my mind up about. Next one, this is a nasty, gross mess, and there's a piece of cat hair stuck to it. But... This is one that I got off Mercari and they just melted the whole way here. I do love the Muppets. I just really wish they just bring it back because I want to put it in my club. Notes are Sparkling Melon, Valencia Orange, and Creamy Vanilla. Would definitely repurchase if I saw it available. Next one. Air of Adventure. This is the Mandalorian from that collection. I think they're re-releasing this again or just did. And the notes are silver mint, bergamot, geranium, eucalyptus, and orange zest. I just, I couldn't, it's a nice fragrance and I'm not saying it's bad, but I just, I couldn't love it as much as everyone was saying that they love this one. So I think it's just a me thing. Then we have Gridiron Rush and this one is also in my quarterly club. I like it, but it's a little too springy for me right now. And it is slightly masculine. I would have to, in my opinion, it is. I would have to tell you. Um, the notes are citrus, crisp apple, fresh cut grass, and sandalwood. So it's got some grass in there and sandalwood. But it's a tad on the masculine side. It is nice. And actually, that reminds me, I wanted to say thank you to Mandy for making an order on my website. I really do appreciate it. And I need to send you a thank you gift for that. And next is Vanilla Bourbon. This had absolutely no throw. I had this in my kitchen, and unless I was standing directly over one of the warmers, I could not smell it, which was very disappointing to me, actually. Uh, the notes are warm vanilla, bourbon, and nutmeg. And I know this is from 2021, but I think maybe I had my expectations up too high. I think it was from a Father's Day collection, if it was a little bit stronger, I would repurchase if it came back. I'd probably purchase it again, at least one bar, to see if I like it. Next one, I don't have the notes for, and I think it's somewhere in the bottom of the bag, and that's Pina Colada Cha-Cha. And I remember when this first came out, I think it was in a brick collection for the summertime, and everyone was just went nuts for it. Um, it's okay, I get that Pina Colada. I get the cha-cha. I don't get a lot of like the rumminess to it. I think that I did read the notes in a previous video and it's somewhere in the bag. But I just, I can't bring myself to love it and maybe I'm just a little worn out on it. I might buy one bar next year only because again, it is one I know my sister really likes. My bars, um, my bar collection is for me, but 
if certain people like my sisters or my best friend or something hey can I buy this bar from you and it's not something that I'm hoarding because I I want it for me I'm more than happy to sell it to them but as a consultant we're not supposed to keep stock or talk about stock and I don't this is 99% of everything I buy is for me um next one Marvel nine realms I finally came to the conclusion I really don't like this I tried I warmed it on our bedroom and I warmed it in our kit or our living room and I think it's the t-note it is the t-note that bugs me the actual notes are lime zest not lime zest blue tea and lavender lightning if it didn't have a tea I would probably actually really love this if it was just like a lavender and lime fragrance but I think that tea mixed with the lime is just almost nauseating to me for some reason it reminds me kind of of Canada Dry when with a twist <laughs> and I just I can't do it so I tried it reminds me kind of, of ginger ale not my favorite thing but yeah so it has a quality I don't care for so I'm not gonna die if I don't have that bar Next thing I went through was vanilla blackberry and the problem I'm having with these types of bags is stuff still leaks through it. So I started, I put the other night a whole, not only did I um, start using the big canning jars, but I used smaller ones for other bricks too. That way if they do get juicy, it just goes to the bottom. I can reuse them and can soak them and wash them and use them again. That was a really nice one actually, sorry. Sorry about my rent there. This is really nice. It's black raspberry vanilla. It was an entire brick and now it's gone. The last but not least fragrance that I went through was Frightfully Delightful. Um, it's a harvest fragrance that we had early access to. I believe right now that it's out of stock. I don't know if they're gonna bring it back in stock. It is in my Scentsy Club, meaning they're gonna have to pour it just for me. Notes are Golden Pumpkin, Harvest Peach, Whipped Vanilla, and Brown Sugar. I think I have one or two more of these. I really liked it. Really liked it. I thought it was pear, but it's peach. Really nice fragrance. Um, I don't really get the peach until the very end, until it's been warming for a really long time. But I would definitely recommend this if it does come back in stock. I have a couple bars, and I think my friend Mandy, I'm going to have her try it. I'm going to send it to her. I like it a lot like this is forever staying in my monthly club because sometimes you know how it is you get in this mood and then you want to warm spring stuff in the middle of winter and winter stuff in the middle of summer that's just kind of how I roll but that is it for my empties video for this week and I'm almost done with both my alphabet challenge and my um, project use it up so I'm hoping that now I'll be able to just kind of do what I want to do like I was before, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.